Hello everyone, and in just two days, I'm going to be facing one of my biggest fears in my life. It will be Wednesday, August 26, and I have a fear of boats or moving things in the water. I do not like getting seasick. I don't want to be stranded in the middle of the water. I don't like things rocking, and I'm going to be facing my fear because... I went to the lake with Jenny last week and she has a boat, as I just said, and she is going to take me up on her boat with her husband. And I have a fear of boats. I don't really tell Jenny that every time I work with her, especially if we're on the water or on the river, she knows I love water and she doesn't know my boat history and why I have a fear of boats. I haven't been on a moving boat for at least 10 years, so it's been over a decade, and I went to a Jewish summer camp, and a couple of times during summer camp, I went away for three weeks overnight, and they had two boats, and it was like kind of like a tippy boat, so it was just like really tippy when you return, and we went inner tubing and from that experience on inner tubing and being on that crazy boat in the waves i had enough i didn't want to go on boats ever again i had no interest i never grew up with a boat i never had any family members that had boats so i was very timid to take jenny up on that when she said hey how about we go on the boat and she has a pontoon boat, so it's a lot more stable than the other boats made for inner tubing and jet skiing and wakeboarding. It's a lot different because the pontoon boat is more even, it's more smooth sailing, and it's a bigger boat. I was on the docks with Jenny too, and she said the docks are more rocky than the boat that they own now it's like oh i'm surprised because i feel like if i see the dock and it's moving i can look at the dock further away from me because i'll be on that same platform and i will know like it's in the same condition nothing's going to branch off and i could look at the dock because it's stable the boat on the water you don't really have a reference point when you look on the water if the boat is somewhat rocking of the wind or just because you move it and you can't really see where you're going i just am not really interested in boats and i don't want to get seasick that's my number one thing is getting seasick and throwing up uh but besides that i had to trust jenny and i do trust jenny she did say yeah the boat is more stable than the docks and when we're on the docks, it was like, Rrr. it was like that. It was constantly moving and with the wind and everything, but I didn't get sick. I don't know why, just because maybe I know like the dock is not always like that. And I just know like I'm on land. Basically, the dock is attached to land. The boat is not. And I will not get stranded on a dock because I know it's, it is attached to the land the boat is a bit more risky um you have to have more precautions and more safety measures and making sure like you have all the supplies needed just in case of an emergency um i would be fine if the boat is stable and everything is like secure so i'm supposed to go up this week on wednesday and it's Monday right now, so I was thinking just like if I was going to see the whole process of them hooking the boat up at their cabin at Lake Morwen and then driving it down, or am I going to see the process of Jenny and her husband already having the boat docked and then just untying the rope to get in the water. So I don't know what we're going to be doing when we arrive. Because there's two ways. The boat is in the water or the boat is at their cabin. Um, if it's at their cabin, they have to hook the boat up to the trailer. They have to 
we have the boat off the dock and then Jenny has to be on the boat to launch it in the water and then Jenny's husband will be in the car and pulling the trailer off the boat and parking the car attached to the trailer and then Jenny has to circle around the dock a few times and then wait for um, her husband to get on the boat with us. But again, it's just is a fear and I just don't want to get sick. That's my number one thing is getting sick or getting stranded. Um, and if they have gas too. If they have gasoline for the boat, then it would feel a lot safer too. And then I was with my other provider, Jenny's daughter, who is my provider. And we were talking about boat safety. And because I hung out with her when we went to Malala State Park and we saw boats in the water and I definitely had some fears and it was good to talk to her about her point of view about the boat and that she grew up on a boat when she was in high school on and just to get her point of view and she has been on the boat with family and friends and Jenny and um, um, her husband. So, she has experience on boats, but I don't. I've been on a boat probably uh, 15 times in my life. I've been canoeing and rafting. So, I have experience in my childhood, but it's not my favorite thing. I love water, but I don't like boats. So, I think I'll be fine because Jenny said the boat is more stable and the pontoon boat is different than other boats. I have never been on a pontoon boat either besides when we went to the lake last weekend um jenny's friend was there um and the boat was docked and we were on the boat for like literally two seconds on the dock and it was tied up but besides that i can't believe i haven't been on a boat for 10 years and yeah i know um i'm gonna have some anxiety and um i can already feel um my body overheating talking about it to you guys um it's just my body letting me know like i'm nervous and i already know i'll have a feeling when i'm on the boat and um when it's just launching in the water um and again i like safety so i feel like jenny's i trust her a lot um but i feel like her husband that's just another person to just make sure everything's good and safe and if anything goes wrong, then we have an extra third person on the boat. Because sometimes two people on the boat is not a good idea. It is recommended that there's at least three people on the boat. And I talked to Erica about that too. And she agrees. And I love learning about her boating, boating experience from her point of view. And from Jenny's point of view. And um, it's going to be a huge blessing to overcome this fear. Because I really have no interest but I think it'll be fine once I'm in the water I think it'll be fine um we won't go for that long but that's the plan as of right now I'm going to Lake Morin and being on the boat for the first time and Jenny mentioned you can go on the boat how about we do this on the boat like oh my gosh I don't know how many times like at least 20 times in the last couple years and it was just kind of like, she was kind of like forcing me to be on the boat. Like, it would be fine. She wasn't reassuring that the boat was not going to be rocking. It's like, it's like, okay. If people say things like that all the time, it's like, fine. I'm going to do it because I trust you. So I'm feeling like that right now. I'm just going to do it. And I trust you guys. And um, they've been boating for at least 15, 20 years. So they have experience when it comes to boats. I don't. So it would be great to learn from both of them and how they work as a team as I'm a newcomer on the boat and I don't know anything about boats. Um, I know a little bit about boats but not like I'm not an expert. I'm an expert in driving because I grew up driving a car. A boat is a whole different story in how to navigate in the water and how to dock in everything too. So um, I'm excited. I think it'll be fun to finally go on the boat. Um, but I literally, I don't remember the last time I've been on the boat. So, gotta face your fears and I'm trying something new. And I'm glad that 
Jenny's husband offered to help us on the boat too because um, he wants me to experience this too. Jenny wants me to experience it. I trust them with my life. Like, I'm not afraid of facing my fear when it comes to that and um, I'll be in good hands. And if anything goes wrong, I can easily go back to the dock if I get seasick. But other than that, I'm kind of excited about this adventure. So that's just me talking to you about my plan. And we're going to be arriving at Lake Morin in the afternoon and just being there for a couple hours. So, um, and I think Jenny will be a big support because she knows how to help me in any kind of situation. And she is a nurturer. So she is a mom. She knows how to take care of me. And, um, I'm not gonna get in the water or just be in the boat, but um, it'll be interesting to see how this boat is different than the other boat I did at camp. And I was probably in middle school, but that boat, oh, the rocking of it is just like, okay, I'm done. I don't want a canoe. I don't want to be on the boat like that ever again. Um, but again, this boat was different. I'm with different people. Um, I'm closer to these people than camp people, so. And the counselors were my age. So it's like, oh yeah. Well, like the Jenny and her husband have experience and they take safety pretty seriously. So that's my story and I hope you like it and I'll let you know how it goes. Have a great day, everyone.